Welcome back, my friends, to another exciting episode of Motivational Moments. Today's motivation is personal to me. It's about friendship versus associates. Let's talk about it. Friendship. What does it really mean? What does it mean to be one's friend and for you to actually have friendship coming back from another person? It comes in different forms, shapes, sizes. But here I'm going to dive deep into, are your friends really your friends? So let's see. What's, what, what's a trait that shows that you have a good friend? Well, you know what? Friends you can count on. That's right. You can call them up. If you need something, buddy, they got you. Or if you call them up, yeah, sister, girl, or girlfriend, I'm here for you. But does that make you a friend? Or are you still an associate? So if you now start to think about the current friendships that you have right now, I want you to think about these things. We're going to talk about these little small topics. And you tell me if your friends are really your friends. Can the person that you say is your friend, that person who is the person you could depend on, can you call them in the middle of the night and say, hey, I'm locked up. Can you come and get me? Will that friend come and get you? Or is that an associate? Can you call that friend on the phone and say, hey, I am down to my last dime. I need to buy Johnny some new shoes. Will that friend lend you the money? Or is that an associate? If you call on the phone and you say, listen, I'm having relationship problems. You're my best, bestie, best friend. What should I do? Will they give you advice? Or is it an associate? But these are the things that separate friendships from associate. A friend is someone who's there for you through thick and thin. No matter how many years could pass, you can call that friend on the phone and they'll be Johnny on the spot to help you. An associate is someone who you socialize with. I.e., I'll give you an example. You call your friend on the phone and you say, hey, I'm having relationship problems. Me and XYZ are not getting along. This is what happened. A true friend, a real friend, will respect what you're telling them. They will not pass judgment. They will not call and tell someone else what's going on with you and XYZ. And you can count on that they're there to listen and support. An associate immediately gets off the phone. After they pass judgment on you in their mind, they call over to Charlie, Sue, Sally, and everybody else, and then spread your business. That's an associate. I'll give you another example. Again, You call up your friend, the one you say is your friend. Now, remember that you said it, not me. And you say, hey, I need to borrow $200. I need $200 because I need to pay the light bill. It's getting ready to be turned off. A true fan will say, there's no need for you to tell me what it's for. I've already sent it. That's it. That's a friend. An associate will tell you, oh, I'm in between pay periods. I don't have it right now. Maybe you should get a payment arrangement. That's an associate. An associate is going to not help you and pass judgment at the very same time. So what was what was the secret in between those two examples? There was one key word, judgment. Here's the difference between a friend and an associate. A friend, a true friend never passes judgment on you. A true friend is always there for you. A true friend sticks with you from the beginning to the end. From the time you all were introduced to each other at the fourth grade, all the way up until the time that they are attending your funeral. That is a friend. An associate is someone that intertwines in your life through your journey. They're not actually a friend. They're just someone you socialize with. So here's the moral to the story. As you go through the journey of your life, as you are moving on and you are finding new friends, don't confuse friends for associates. So in conclusion, here at Motivational Cup, we want to help motivate your mind so therefore you can make the best decisions possible. As you are traveling your journeys and you are meeting up with new people, the people who you let inside your life, the people who you give your innermost secrets and thoughts to, the people who you bring around your children, the people who you bring into your fold, make sure that they're friends and not associates. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Welcome back to all our subscribers and viewers out there. To continue on with our motivational moments, we're going to talk about a new topic today. Our topic today is feeling defeated. 
Do you feel defeated? I don't know, but you can tell me and we can share tools and tips to help you get past feeling defeated. Remember, when you're at your lowest point, there's no other place to go but up. You can be rest assured that if you feel like there is nothing else to do, there's nowhere else to go, there's nothing else to hold on to, that means that you've reached the lowest point possible and there's no other direction but for you to go up now. Sometimes you need help. Sometimes you need to call a friend. Sometimes you need to reach out to a family member. There's plenty of self-help groups out there. Um, there's different psychiatrists or psychologists that you can call if you really need professional help. But feeling defeated is a mindset. Remember, nothing can slow you down in life. There are people that were born and became kings. There were people that were born and became presidents. People that were born and became uh, um, race car professionals and, and built buildings. You can do anything you set your mind to. If you can dream it, you can do it. What I want you to do is when you go to bed at night, make an affirmation saying that you are no longer defeated. You wake up in the morning tomorrow and you say, I can do anything. Nothing is in my way. The sky is the limit and I'm climbing for the top. Here at Motivational Cup, we want you to fill your cup up with motivational spirit that you can achieve. You are not defeated. You can move forward and we will be here to help you. We'll see you later. Welcome back to all of our subscribers and everyone who's liked our channel. We want to start something new, a new segment. We're going to call it Motivational Moments. What we want to do is take keywords or key phrases and give you information that's motivational on that topic. Today's topic is winning. Do you feel like a winner? You can share with us. We're all friends here. Winning is a mindset. If you really believe you're a winner, then you are. A lot of people walk around and they'll say what they can't do or what's not possible or can you please help me? Most of these things you can do on your own and that makes you a winner. In order to know that you're winning, you have to lose, unfortunately, because where you start from is not where you end. But if you keep persevering and if you keep pushing, you will always be a winner. Remember, the only time in life you're not winning is when you lose and losing is only when you give up. If you give up or if you feel like you're ready to give up, if you feel like you cannot win, you cannot accomplish, always remember you're not alone in life. Make a phone call, speak to a friend, watch a motivational video, talk to someone that's always been a winner. They can always get you past a little pivotal point that you need to, so you can get to the finish line of winning. Now, if you like winning, and if you want to be a winner, then you will be. Nothing can stop you. Until next time, I want you to remember that each day when you wake up, you are a winner. Say it to yourself. Repeat it. Make an affirmation that you are a winner. Every single day when you get up, brush your teeth, I'm a winner. Walk downstairs, I'm a winner. Start up the car, I'm a winner. Walk into work, I'm a winner. And you will be a winner. Until next time, we'll see you later.